Now, with the um, with the uh, game manager uh, and input controller uh, in, uh, ready, we will start um, um, with our player. So remove what we what we uh, what we did uh, in the end of the last video. We're going to remove everything from the player class. So first, we're going to use um, system serialized. Well, we're going to make a new class which will hold our mouse input. Because if you if you look at the, uh, when you have a normal, when you have a mouse, when you use it normally, uh, it, it's very jaggy. So we want to add some damping and sensitivity to it. Um, so we can use that later from our um, UI game uh, control mapping to make uh, more damping or less damping or increase sensitivity of the player. Uh, so let's make two vector twos, one for damping and one uh, vector two for sensitivity. Now um, let's get rid of this comment. Um, we need a variable to uh, we need to serialize this uh, class, otherwise we cannot use it in the inspector. So can we? I use float speed. Um, if we don't serialize, uh, make the mark the mouse input as serializable, we're going to use it in the inspector. So we're going to use the serialize field mouse input uh, mouse control. Here we go. So now we can access the mouse input from the from the class itself. So let's take a look. There it is. So now it get a so it's nicely grouped. Uh, all right. Now um, we also made a speed which will control our player movement. I'm not really sure what will the. I'm sure we're going to add like a run speed, strafe speed, walk speed, crouch speed, uh, str um, and all that. But it's going to be uh, we're going to do it later. We're just going to use one single uh, speed parameter uh, right now. So let's make uh, a vector two of the direction the, the player is getting its input from. So direction from vector two, uh, player. Uh, now we need uh, we can like game manager. We can do it like this: game manager, instance, input controller, horizontal. But it's a lot of typing. So just make a, let's make a short hand uh, to the input controller. Which will be a private uh, uh, property. So we're going to use the input controller uh, player input, and in the uh, awake, we're going to use player input game manager. Sorry, game manager instance input. So now we can use with less typing player input horizontal. Uh, now let's let's start with the with the vertical. We're gonna uh, multiply by speed, and then we get player input horizontally, also down speed. Now. Now we want to move the player around, so we can, we could like move the transform in the player class, but we're going to use a different controller for it. Again, you might want to change the the player move controller later on by maybe the character controller from Unity, or you create a new uh, character controller. Just want to keep it loosely coupled. So I'm, I'm going to create a move controller. Which will be fairly fairly simple to start with. There we go. We're gonna add one uh, method to it. Move. It will accept the vector two. Oh, which direction we are? We want to move. Let's compile it so we don't have an error in the back in the, in the code. Mm -hmm. 
let's open it again. It happens sometimes. So now we're just going to mo simply move the transform position based on the direction we are getting. So what will we do transform forward times the direction x, which was the vertical one, uh, multiplied by time delta time. Then we're going to add the transform, right? We don't need the delta time, I think, here because we are moving it. Oh, well, let's keep it like this uh, direction y times time delta time. So now we're going to say that this player requires the component for move control. Uh, so it's going to be quite component type of uh, move controller, and then we have a move controller, move controller. Uh, no. Now you could do it like this: move controller, get component. Uh, but we're not going to do it like this because uh, when you get uh, when you get um, we have more scripts and then you get like the uh, the, the script execution order. Uh, it won't matter much for this class, but it's it's uh, for me it's pref preferable to use uh, getters for for every component which I use. So I'm going to use the uh, private move control. Now we're going to do a public mode of controller because we might want to change uh, the player's input based on external uh, whatever. Maybe from the game manager, change its direction or just make it public. Uh, move controller. Get. Um, for naming sake, we're going to use it and move controller. You can name it whatever you want. But so again, check if the move controller equals no. If that's the case, get component move controller. Now return move controller. So then we're just gonna say move controller move direction. Let's see what happens. Typo somewhere. There. Now we have to assign a speed to the player, otherwise it won't give us that much. I'm also going to split the screen. What's going on? Ah, the move controller stays empty. Ah, we haven't assigned the move controller. Now, although we said uh, requires component, if you already added the player script, it will not automatically add the move controller. So we have to add it ourselves. Now you can see what happens when we move around. Perfect. Now let's um, let's also work on the on the camera in this same uh, in this same project. So we, we want um, no uh, no wait. We want to use the third person camera, which will also be uh, for this game. So we're not really using it from the from the framework. Uh, third person third person camera. So we want to create a camera which is slightly behind the player, a little higher, maybe a little bit to the side. Um, we want to configure it and we want to f let it follow the player. Uh, an easy thing to do would be to like drag the main camera to the player, uh, transform and let it uh, follow it around. We we're we're going to do it a little bit differently because I want to use the game manager to get access to the local player. I always make, uh, when I work at games, I always think the player will be in a multiplayer environment. So everything um, 
we are doing right now should be easily um, uh, used in a multiplayer environment as well. So we're going to use um, an event when the game manager, when a, when a player is ready, it will notify the game manager, and the no game manager will have an event, and any uh, other class which subscribes subscribes to this event will then get a notification that the player has joined and do his actions. So let's open up the game manager. Now let's uh, make a private uh, player, player, public player, uh, local player. Let's make that probably the same, the private, uh, the same. So when we get we're gonna return M local player. And in the set, we're gonna assign the M local player with value, which is the local player. Now, now let's create an event which will be uh, invoked when the local player value is the M local player is uh, set. So let's make a public event system action. Uh, we want to know the player from the from the event uh, on local player joint. There we go. Now we're gonna check if this value if this is assigned. Uh, uh, if it's it's not null on local player joint. Then let's move to the player, and in the awake, let's say game manager instance a local player is this. Now, when the game started, when the game starts, I wait. Of course, uh, like I said, um, I want to know the player when it happens, so. We have to assign the local player to the delegate. Uh, all right. So now, when the player joins the game, it will tell the the game manager that the local player is me, and then the then it will um, raise this event. So now let's create a, a third person camera. With a reference to the in the let's do the awake game manager instance on local player job. Then we create a delegate. You can do it like this, uh, assign uh, it directly here, but we're going to use uh, a method for it. It will automatically add all the the properties you will get from the from from the method. And then we say um, player. Let's make it public so we can see it in the, in the inspector when we test this out. Player, uh, local player. Then it will be local player. Local player. Let's assign this script. Hmm. Hmm. Did I already assign it? No. Here we go. So I made it public right now. We hit play, and the player is assigned. Uh, so we're not dragging this one because we don't really want to drag. You know, we want to do it automatically. So let's remove it, make it private. But this this hooks the the player to the um, I'm sorry this hooks the camera to the to the player object once the player joins the game through the game manager. All right, uh, that's it for this movie uh, for this one. Um, see you in the next one.